Did you know your HomePod or HomePod Mini can now alert you if there's a fire in your house? Here's how to enable this new feature. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and if your full-size HomePod or HomePod Mini is up to date, you're likely going to see a new feature prompting you inside of the Home app. Basically, these devices already have onboard microphones that are perpetually listening for Apple's key phrase, hey, Apple Assistant. But now Apple's using them for a new feature. Now, when these microphones are passively listening in the background, if they hear something like a CO detector or a smoke detector going off, they can alert you, whether you are home or away. That way you know what's going on in your house and you can even remotely listen in and listen to the detector for yourself to ensure that's what's really happening before you check out your security cameras or just call emergency services. Here is how you can set up the feature and how it works. So here we are on my iPhone. Now we're just going to jump here into the home app and technically this was enabled server side. So there was not new software that just launched for HomePod and HomePod mini. As long as they're up to date, you should probably see this alert here in the home app. It says new safety and security features, sound recognition detects smoke or carbon monoxide alarm sounds and allows home members to check in during critical events. We're going to tap on continue to set this up. So again, we have this alert down here at the bottom, safety and security. It walks again through the feature. We're going to hit turn on. It's going to think for just a moment while it enables this feature across the home pods throughout our home. And that's it. You've enabled this across all of the home pods in your house that are up to date. So let's go ahead and uh, create a little simulation here to test how this works. By the way, I'm going to mute the actual sound when the smoke alarm is playing. And I'm just going to watch for the alert because I don't want to send all of your devices freaking out. So here you can see the alerts have come in. An alarm was found in the studio and there's two HomePods in the studio. So I got both of those. I can tap on that, bring this up. It'll let me connect to any camera that's in here and I'm gonna be able to drop in and listen to the audio. There, it's just announced the uh, check-in going on in the background. Once that check-in is complete, it's connecting. I can hear what's going on in the background. I can talk to anyone's in the home, anything like that. It's gonna kind of echo for a moment. Uh, and I can tap on X to go ahead and check out of that and see the alerts here. And I can go ahead and call emergency service services, check into any cameras that I have available. If you don't see the prompts, you can also enable the feature manually by tapping on the ellipsis in the top right hand corner and getting into your home settings where you can then turn the feature on. It's also how you can disable the feature if you prefer to do that or re-enable it down the line. What I think is so useful about this is there aren't a ton of smart smoke detectors or CO detectors in Apple's HomeKit space. If you did have a smart HomeKit detector, then you'd be able to get alerts directly from those devices. But there's just not that many and it can be expensive to replace them all over your house. But if you've got HomePod minis or HomePods, you don't need a smart smoke detector because you already have these that will relay that signal to you. And this happens device to device. So if you're at home, it'll go directly from your HomePod to your phone without having to send anything through Apple servers. It's just really handy, really easy to do and saves you from replacing a bunch of devices in your home. Couple other things to note. If you have a HomeKit camera in the same room that the HomePod has detected the audio, you can also get into the live camera feed directly and listen in that way or view the room that's in question. And if you do do that, the video is encrypted end to end. And if you drop in to listen to the room, it will also be encrypted end to end. And in the home, the HomePod will also announce that somebody is listening in. So if you're in the home and you have that going on, you'll know that somebody has access to the HomePod to listen to that audio. Apple always takes these privacy and security things really seriously. So what do you think of this new HomeKit feature for HomePod and HomePod mini? Are you going to enable it for your home? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.